So here in Spain, I'd like to let you know that the bathrooms are over here. The emergency exit is through that door or through that door if that door is blocked. Um, we'll take a break every so often if need be. So to get started, we are going to go over the SCBA and what all components are part of the SCBA. So there are the different components of the SCBA include the air cylinder, the back plate regulator, the pass device, and the face piece. So we're going to start with the bottom or air cylinder. The air cylinder, there are three different types of air cylinders. You have your steel, uh, aluminum wrapped fiberglass bottles, and then you have your Kevlar or carbon fiber composite wrapped crate bottles. Um, there are three different sizes of bottles. One is a 60 minute bottle, which is the bigger of the bottles. And then you have your 45 minute bottles and your 30 minute bottles. Um, they also coincide with how many PSI is in, into each bottle. So a 45 minute bottle is a 45,000 PSI bottle. Each 100 PSI correlates with one minute of air for breathing. The, each bottle has to go through a hydrostatic test every three to five years. The first test is written right here. So this one was done in August of 16. And then each additional test it goes through will be printed or stamped down in here around the neck of the bottle. This also tells you how much PSI and what the time frame for each bottle is on this label right here. Each bottle also, if it is a carbon composite bottle, usually will have at least one glow in the dark ring to help firefighters be able to see you better in smoky conditions or dark conditions. Um, lifespan for steel and aluminum bottles, as long as they pass the hydrostatic test, can go on indefinitely. However, the Kevlar carbon composite bottles only have a lifespan of 15 years. Each bottle is filled with compressed air. Unlike what many think, it is not pure oxygen because that would not be good in situations where we go in that are in high heat. It is just compressed air from the environment outside. There's nothing special about it. Um, each bottle also has a pressure gauge on it to tell you how what the bottle level is, if it's full or not. It also has your on and off valve and the quick connect or the stem valve on it to connect to the pack. It also has the lock in the lock plate to lock it into the pack. And then each pack has a regulator on it. The regulator is what will hook to your face piece so that the air can go through from the bottle and into your face piece. It is a simple connect. You just match it up and turn and it locks into place. If it doesn't automatically come on, push this top button right here, it's on and off. It also comes with a purge valve, so if something's not working and you can't get the air to suck in, turn this on and it will automatically push flow continuously into your mask. To take it off, there's the off clip. You just turn it back off and it comes off. Um, each regulator also has a light up display for, it comes with four different lights, two greens, one yellow, and a red light. It corresponds with how much air pressure you have left in your bottle. Um, regulator just connects the, between the two. The face piece is just a mask. It helps protect firefighters' eyes so they sort of be able to see better and to keep air in there. It is a positive pressure mask. So it will blow stuff out the sides. So even if you don't have a good seal, it'll still keep where you have fresh air to breathe. Um, it is an open circuit system. So it will vent whatever air you breathe out. It will vent it through the vents on it so that it will keep continuous. It doesn't reuse that you exhale. The pack itself has a back plate and shoulder straps with all the hoses to help protect the hoses. 
Um, the shoulder straps are actually quick release. You can pull it tight, pull it to release. The waist strap actually is used to tighten or hold the weight of the bottle, so it carries the weight. The shoulder straps are just a stabilizing straps, so it doesn't move around on you too much if you put it on correctly. Um, it has a seat belt like fastener on the way, so it's easy to connect and easy to undo. It comes with a drag device, so you can grab a down firefighter and drag them out. Each pack also comes has a battery port on them for the integrated pass system or lights. This has lights that will light up, that will flash to let you know. It will also let you know where the battery's um, charge is at by the color of the light. And then each pack also has, or sh newer ones come with an integrated pass device, which is your yeah, personal okay. alert system. It will ring and go off if you are motionless for more than 30 seconds and you will have to move to shake the bottle to get it to go off. Or it has a mayday button on it, which is the red button. So if you get in trouble, you can push the button and it will sound. The way to turn it off is to shake and move the pack or to hit the yellow button. It will get louder as the longer it is on. Um, each device also comes with a buddy breather which you hook to another person's pack if they are low or if you are low on air to help you get out, you will share that other person's bottle or your bottle. So it will cut your air supply in half. It also comes with a universal port that any pack can connect to. Down, it's called the RIC I, uh, UAC. Any pack, it doesn't have to be Scott, it can be Drager, Mesa, it don't matter. Each pack comes with it. It's usually down in this area. Some will actually come with two packs or two UACs. I know a couple different Mesas do. Um, you keep this covered and it'll connect into almost any rig pack that you have out there. The it, the SCBA is used to help firefighters breathe in hazardous situations. It is also used as a, um, in hazmat situations where there could possibly be contaminants, but we're unsure. It could be used in that also. It's not just for smoky environments or where it's high heat. It can also be used in cooler or cold temperatures too. Um, so this is the quick version of what the SCBA is. Is there any questions or... Anything you want me to go over again?